Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. I feel like I want to do the deep cleansing breath, but I don't want to waste time. <sighs> That'll be like our little deep cleansing breath. Anyway, it's been a minute since we've done a Dollar Tree haul, a Dollar Tree slash discount haul. So I'm, I went to the Dollar Tree today, not expecting to find anything. And I, I tried that trick where I brought a small bag in with me because I wasn't going to buy anything, right? And I walked out of there with $50, $50 worth of stuff. But most of it was stuff that I don't want to say was essential, but was um, not knickknacks or tchotchkes or, or just other things that I didn't need. Most of it was stuff that I need or could use. Like, I want to see edible things, drinkable things. So let's get into it. I will show you what I got. The first thing that I got, I got to start drinking more water. I got to start drinking more water. And I do like the hint to water that they have, but I don't need the extra caffeine because I'm having a problem sleeping lately. So... I haven't been getting the flavored, the flavored water. I haven't been because it's so damn heavy, heavy. So they had the one that I usually get, which I can't remember the name of, that they usually have in like lemon and berry and whatever. But I opted for, I opted for the Propel. So I got the Propel. This is. What flavor? This is berry flavor. Making my nose run already. Berry flavor. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's one dozen of the propel in here. And I don't know how many. What is this? 24 fluid ounces. This is by the Gatorade Company. This has got zero calories. Zero calories and zero sugar. So I did pick up a case of the propel. So that was $12 because you know what it is. It's deceiving. You get one case of water and you're thinking I'm paying a dollar, right? But it's not $1 for the case. It's 12 bottles of water for a dollar a bottle. That's why I ended up spending so much money. But like I said, you go to a um, deli or whatever you're going to pay more than a dollar for a bottle of water. You're going to pay like a dollar or 25 or whatever. And besides, you know, the boyfriend, when he comes over, he likes to drink the flavored waters. He like he's a water person. Okay. Now this stuff, I did not need this, but let me tell you, I was so happy. I found this again. I was so happy. Tell me this is leaking. One of them might be leaking. One of them might be leaking. I taste candy. I hope one of them is not leaking. I'm going to have to examine. Something is leaking. Okay. Anyway. I was going to review this. This is the Adrenaline Shock uh, in Cotton Candy. This is by far the best energy drink I've ever tasted. It tastes like liquid cotton candy. It is so addictive and so very sweet. Oh, and, and the fact is that it's, it's got zero sugar and zero calories, right? Zero sugar and zero calories. And I love the cotton candy. Love it. Love the cotton candy. It's so, so good. But I will warn you, if you Something is leaking. If you do not need to stay awake, um, be careful with this stuff because, wow, I, I drank this one time and it had no effect on me and I was able to fall asleep or whatever. And, and I drank this at another time when it was around dinner time and I was wired. So it does say here, uh, not recommended for use by individuals under 18 years of age. Too much caffeine may cause nervousness, irritability, sleeplessness, and occasionally rapid heartbeat. 300 milligrams of natural caffeine. So, yeah. I forget how many cups of coffee that would be. But be careful with this stuff. 
Be careful with it. I, and I wouldn't recommend drinking more than one at a time. So I got one, two, three, four. I want to know which one is open. Four, five, five of the Adrenaline Shock in Cotton Candy. It is my very favorite. And I haven't been able to find it. Uh, I found it once. I bought two two cans and then I found it one other time and I bought one can now I I would then I wasn't able to find it again I bought five cans I would definitely buy more because I don't know when or if they will ever get this in again and like I said this is something that you would have to drink in moderation once in a while is like a treat or if you really really need to stay awake but if you like sweet oh my god okay then I got two. Which one? Oh, something is leaking. I, how many times am I going to say that? I got two of the... I'm tasting what is leaking. I don't know. I got two in the um, sour candy. I can't tell. It tastes like the cotton candy is leaking, which breaks my heart because I don't want the sour candy. I don't want the cotton candy to be leaking. Anyway, the sour candy is good. I only got two of the sour candy. They had more of, of this. Sour candy tastes like Sour Patch Kids in liquid form. I know it's, it's going to bother me. Anyway, highly recommend the Adrenaline Shock. So that, that was another, let's see. So there's five, six, seven dollars right there. And look, the receipt is wet. I'm tasting everything. Trying to figure out what is leaking. And I know you guys are going to X out of this video because you're going to be like, you're spending too much time trying to figure out what's leaking. But this, the, the adrenaline shot cotton candy is precious to me. Because if it was readily available, if it was readily available, I would not care. But because it's hard to find now, it bothers me. Anyway, yeah, this is, this is good stuff. This is good stuff. <laughs> try it in the cotton candy, try it in the sour candy. Moving on. I got two bags of the popcorners in the kettle corn. I picked up some decor, some inspirational arts that I am going to put in my hallway and then I also got a, okay, so the frame, the last frame I got said like live and love your family or whatever, a family is the heart or something like that. Now I got the one that says, enjoy the little things. I'm going to put a picture of Malcolm when he got his fanny trim. I know what that means in England. When he got his butt fur trimmed and the girl trimmed his butt fur and she was like, you know, it's a cute picture. So I'm going to put that in the enjoy the little things. Malcolm is my dog, not my child. Although, hmm, same difference. So this is uh, the inspirational arts that I got for myself. So it says, start each day with a grateful heart. This one says, you are powerful, beautiful, brilliant, and brave. I always need to remind myself of that. And then this is a nice one in the kitchen. When life gives you lemon, make lemonade. And then add vodka. No, I'm kidding. I don't drink. So, then I got more drinks. This, this is good stuff. Blueberry lemonade. This is sweet. Um, but it only has five calories and it has no sugar and it's very sweet. So if you have a sweet tooth, 
I know it's probably highly unhealthy for you. Um, but if you have a sweet tooth and you are diabetic, <laughs> this is really good. Um, and my boyfriend, who's not diabetic, and I got this for him because it didn't indicate that it was diet anywhere. He drank it and he liked it. The strawberry lemonade, for some reason, the pink one, I was like, oh, I'll get the strawberry lemonade too. But the the pink one has like 50 calories in it. And I think it does have sugar in it. I don't know why the strawberry would have calories and the blueberry wouldn't. But this one has five calories and no sugar. So yeah, it's really, really good. I was very surprised. Then I got two scarves. This one, I was very disappointed. I really like this one uh, for like Earth Day. And like, it's just, I like the green. My nails were green. Now they're grape. This is number 95, Color Wave Gel USA, number 95, Grape Guy. So I just like the green, right? It's really like springy and I don't need any more scarves. But this is a St. Patrick's Day scarf and they had other ones, but you can't tell. Because it's, it's just like, it looks like spring, right? But they had ones that were clearly St. Patrick's Day scarves. And I said to the woman, the uh, sales associate, clerk, cashier, is this 50 cents because it's seasonal and St. Patrick's Day was in March? And she called the manager over and the manager was just very, very uh, I like, I hate my life. And she was like, no, only the candy and the decor is half price when it's uh, out of season. So, <laughs> so she's like, so the catcher was like, you want it? I was like, yes, I will take it. I will take it. Is this the, um, is this the infinity scarf? No, this is just a regular scarf, but I just, I really, really like it for some reason. Then I got this other scarf, which this gives me. What's that guy's vibes? John Waters. This gives me John Waters vibes. And it's got a pull in it. Damn it. It's snagged. Look, it's snagged. Oh, that's sad. It's snagged. Ugh. I'm going to take this back and see if I can get another one. I'll take this back to the store tomorrow. There's, um, what I do with that wet receipt? Here, I will take the wet receipt and I will take this back tomorrow and I get a different one. I mean, uh, the same one, but one that doesn't have a snag in it. See, look, it's got a snag, but it has palm trees. I really liked it because of the palm trees. And I really think I could wear this in the summer with something. It Look, it goes with what I'm wearing, although I'm wearing pajamas. Yeah, it's just, I, I like this with the palm trees. Like I said, John Waters vibes. But now, and... You know what? I need to go back anyway. I don't need to go back, but there was this uh, composition book, right? And it was, it was black and white. It was white, but it was with black trim and it had the word, uh, like, uh, you know, U G H written all over it. And I was like, yeah, I need to, this to be my work notebook. And I was like, no, I need to be positive, positive affirmations. I'm not going to get a book that says, uh, all over it. But I was like, I need to get this. So when I return this scarf tomorrow, because it's got a snag in it, wherever it is, where the hell did it go? And if I find out which drink is leaking, oh, I'll look for if they restock the cotton candy. Um, so yeah, this has a snag. So I will be bringing that back. But the green, pretty. Okay, now I got some cleaner. Some people ask me, some some people in the peanut gallery ask me, do you really clean your house? Yes, I do. Um, I buy a lot of cleaner. I buy a lot of air freshener, which I have over here somewhere. Where did all the air freshener go? Oh, it's in the other bag. So this is, it says LA's or Las, no, LA's Totally Awesome Daily Shower Cleaner in a fresh scent. I don't know. This could be water in a bottle, right? It could be water. They could be selling us water. Oh, no. It smells like a bathroom. Okay. So I'm going to keep this in my bathroom to spray my shower after showers because I hate, 
I used to like my other apartment because it had a shower stall instead of a bathtub because I hate a bathtub. I, but you know why? Because I don't take baths. I take showers. I'm not a bath person, you know, sitting in your own filth. Ugh. Anyway, I know if you're a bath person, more power to you, but I'm not a bath person and I'm not like a bath bomb person, which is good because I didn't go with that trend and spend a lot of money on bath bombs. But anyway, so this says, uh, totally awesome daily shower. It says works on contact. It says actually puts cleaning power into plain old water. It says it is safe to use daily after every shower. Never need to reclean, rinse, or scrub with regular use. Removes tough soap scum, hard water, and mildew stains. So I figure. If I spray down the shower with this after I take a shower, then maybe the goo or gunk or stuff won't build up. And, you know, not that it really does in my shower, you know, but you know what it is, though? Actually, it's not regular gunk. It's not like moldy gunk. But if you're if you watch my channel, then you know that I buy like a lot of like scrubs and jelly washes and stuff like that. And it can, you know, gunk up. It does, sometimes it doesn't all go down the drain. Sometimes it, you know, whatever. So I'm going to try this. I'm going to leave that in the shower. Oh, and then I got some books. A book. I ended up having to go back to my car and get a whole bunch of just reusable bags. I was going to say disposable bags. Reusable bags. Remember I told you guys that I, uh, I have to stop buying dvds in the dollar tree dvds of movies that i have not seen before because they always end up being terrible i have a lot of movies from the dollar tree that i have not watched yet but all the ones that i have watched like miss meadows and i don't know there were a few of them they were all terrible they were all terrible except for money monsters with george clooney and julia roberts i can actually say that was a good movie that I found that I had not watched before. So I actually found another good movie on my previous trip to the Dollar Tree. I was so stunned. I was stunned. For a dollar, this is a good movie. So this is called A Score to Settle. It's with Nicolas Cage. That's why I got it. Now, I like Nicolas Cage as an actor, but if you follow his career, you know that um, his people say that his career flatlined and he's been making crappy movies for a while. I am not of that mind. I have a movie that he did with John Cusack called Frozen Ground that I thought was a great movie and that I did not find at the Dollar Tree. Nicolas Cage, John Cusack, two great actors, love John Cusack. Anyway, um, that was a great movie. So I'm, I like, even there is another movie called Knowing with Nicolas Cage. And I really like that one too. So he's known for making bad movies, but I like his bad movies. I think he, he, he is such a good actor that he makes bad movies watchable, right? Although sometimes he does do the overacting. In here, he does do the overacting. He he does make some facial expressions that are just like unbelievable. You ever watch reviews? I've not seen this movie, but I've watched movie reviews for The Wicker Man, the reboot, review, remake that he did. And there's this part where they put a cage of bees over his face. And he's like, the bees, the bees. You know, anyway. So it's like he has like this overacting. Although, how can you overact having bees on your face? Anyway. This one is called A Score to Settle. It says, Revenge is Coming. <laughs> okay, so it's about this guy who is locked up for twenty, almost 20 years. Um, and for a crime he didn't actually commit. So he was in a gang. And the one person, like the, 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 the godfather type guy, killed another guy. And he took the rap for it and the other people in the gang didn't stick up for him. So when he got, got out of prison, the first thing that he did was dig up the chest with the, the footlocker with the money in it that he had from his crimes. He took the money, 
you know, he, well, first he, his son meets him at the prison. He hasn't seen his son in 20 years. So since, since his son was like one, so his son, his, his adult son picks him up and then they take a taxi because he doesn't, the son doesn't have a car. He had to sell the car because he had no money. Anyway, he, he takes a taxi. He says, oh, I just have to go get something at the old house. And he digs up the money. And then he says to his, his son figures out what he did. He, he pretends like he was getting this old baseball card from the club, not clubhouse, from the, what do you call those? Not clubhouses. What do you call those things you build for kids? I forget. Anyway, he pretended he was going to get this baseball card and really he dug up the money. And then he said to his son, oh, we're going to have, you know, the best time using this money and all this other stuff. And then he, he and, and the son's like, you're not going to go take revenge on all those guys that were in the gang with you, are you? And what does he do? The first thing that he does is he goes to take revenge on those guys. Oh, by the way, he's dying. <laughs> That's another thing. He gets out of prison. They tell him he's dying of this insomnia related disease that he, he it's impossible for him to sleep. And eventually he's going to die from not sleeping. So it's kind of has like a ridiculous premise, but Nicolas Cage pulls it off. And I have to say, I did enjoy this movie as goofy as it was with the overacting and some holes in the plot. I still enjoyed it. And I could, you can't say that for a lot of movies that you get from the Dollar Tree. The good majority of them are really bad. But this one I liked. This one I liked. A score to settle. So what did I pick up today? I picked up this. I don't know why I got this. I'm into biopics and stuff, but not... <laughs> I don't know, I'm not going to watch this. This is NBC News Presents Yes We Can, the Barack Obama story. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll give it to somebody as a gift or something. I don't know. So, this one I'll probably watch. I did buy a Princess Diana um, biography that was like a real life biography, which I'm less into, but I like biopics. And this is Naomi Watts. I've never heard of this. Naomi Watts as Diana. So I thought that would be interesting. This one I'll definitely watch because I, I, like I said, I do like biopics. It says the story the world never knew. Uh, and then I got this one. This is from the BBC. So I may watch this. It says 13. 13 years captive, forever scarred. 13 years after her abduction, 26-year-old Ivy Moxham flees the cellar that has held her captive half her life. But her, but the escape is just the beginning of Ivy's story. She's picking up the pieces of her life. Startling discovery. Um, her um, leaves everyone scrambling. Her former captor has found the next truth of what happened in the cellar anyway. So, yeah. Then I got this. This is another one that I'm never going to watch. I just really like the cover. It's so pretty. This would be something that, like, I could gift to the bad enabler. <laughs> Happy birthday, bad enabler, if you're watching. <laughs> um, yeah, so I'm going to give this to, I'm going to give him this and the Barack Obama story. So this is Merry, this is Christmas with Christina. So I don't know. I'm, like, thinking that this might be worth money or something. It's like some bizarro DVD I've never seen before. Uh, it says, Christina Aguilera, My Reflection. It says, The acclaimed Christmas special with performances of Merry Christmas Baby with Dr. John. Have yourself a Merry Little Christmas with Brian McKnight and Christmas Time. But then the rest of it is, is like, other so like genie in a bottle reflection like regular songs songs in spanish climb every mountain it's like half christmas half regular i i don't know what this is how do you make a christmas special that's like half christmas and half regular i don't know i don't know so i i haven't seen this before <laughs> you know this is i'm gonna gift this to somebody it's just i like the cover i really do um Okay. Oh, and then I got a book that I think is going to be like a decoration book. So sometimes I use books as decorations. Like you can get these, um, 
I'm still trying to think of what that thing is in the yard for kids. Not a clubhouse. Not an outhouse. A tree house. A tree house. He goes in the tree house to get the baseball card. Anyway, um, you can get easels like these, you know, the little the little feet things. And you can put books out as decorations and make people think that you have eclectic renaissance you that you're a renaissance woman or man you, you put the little the little easel up and you have these little books around right and they add to your decor so this one is going to add to my decor this one is called the doll house a novel by fiona davis it might be good it says rich both in twists and period detail this tale of big city ambition is impossible to put down and that's by people magazine gave it that review so I don't know. It's kind of like retro. The dollhouse. It says $9.99 up there. It says novel. The novel pulls readers into the lush world of New York City's glamorous Barbizon Hotel for Women. Barbizon isn't that like a beauty school? Um, where in the 1950s, a generation of Aspiring models, secretaries, and editors lived side by side while attempting to claw their way to fairy tale success, and where a present day journalist becomes consumed with uncovering a dark secret buried within Barbizon's glittery past. I don't know. It just looks like a, a cute decor book, and look, it's got to look. It's got a little tear. Anyway, it's a long video. Hope you guys love me. <laughs> um. Oh no, that's the discount store. Here is the Dollar Tree last video, and I'm getting tired of talking. I want to have my dinner and go sleep. I got paper bowls because I needed bowls. I've been eating that Bible cereal. If you guys watch my video, so I got some. Glade air freshener. I picked up the Glade and the Airwick are good. I'm trying to. There's one brand of air freshener that's not good. I got this last time. I got the Airwick Fresh New Day in Fresh Waters last time. Now they had a different one. So the Glade and the Airwick is okay, but the other one that they sell, you guys know which one I'm talking about the natural sense or whatever the hell crap it is that one i don't like because sometimes it doesn't spray in a spray it's literally sprays in like a liquid like it doesn't spray right so the air wick that i got this time i got a bunch of air wicks. let me start off with glade glade aqua waves i'm not going to spray all of these because then i won't be able to tell you what's what did I get any more Glade? No. I got the rest was all Airwick. So the other Airwick that I got that was like that other one is a pink one. It says Fresh New Day, Magnolia, and Cherry Blossom. And then I got this new kind out. This is six in one with natural essential oils, right? They're doing the six in one thing. It says... Premium fragrance, here's the six things. Premium fragrance eliminates odors, acts in seconds, lasts up to one hour, propelled by 100% filtered air, is inspired by essential oils. And this is white lilac and orange blossom. And then I got the, oh, here's another one, I'm sorry. Is a fresh new day. I just got it because it was purple. Lavender and chamomile. You know, I really don't like uh, lavender. I had to try this one. I didn't spray it in the store. Uh, the other ones I did, the other ones all smell good. This one is Hawaii, exotic papaya and hibiscus flower. This is uh, another one of the six in one. Let me spray this one. Papaya and hibiscus. Oh, yeah, that one smells nice. You could really smell the papaya. That's tropical. This one, that's nice. That's really nice. The The Fresh New Day. So there are three that I got in the Fresh New Day. Uh, that, two today and one before.
This one's okay. It's like the lavender. It's lavender chamomile. It's what you expect. You know, it's not my favorite scent in the world. What is this? I'm going to end up spraying all of these. This one was magnolia and cherry blossom. Hmm. That one smells weird. I'll put it in the bathroom at work. Like in the the bathroom that nobody uses that often. I don't know if I like that one. That one smells odd. That's got like a rotten meat smell. Maybe it's because all the scents are mixing. I don't know. Or aqua waves. It's like water. I can't tell what I'm smelling anymore. What's this one? White lilac and orange blossom. I think the papaya one is my favorite. The papaya one is good. The aqua waves, I mean, they're, they're not, they're, they're all okay. They're all okay. But if I had to say which one was really good, um, the... The Hawaii Exotic Papaya and Hibiscus Flower. This one is really nice. I like this one a lot. Um, and the um, the other ones are just all right. They're they're all okay. So that's why I got one of each. I didn't get like a bunch like I got of the other ones. You know, the Bamboo Bliss and the other things. Okay. So that's everything from the Dollar Tree. Then I went to this, uh, do it's not a dollar store. It's sort of like a family dollar-esque type store because... Um, it's a, it's not a chain store, so you can't go to it. It's a local store that just opened up. It didn't, it's been open a little bit. It has Dollar Tree type items and family dollar type items. Sometimes they have it for more money than Dollar Tree, the same items, sometimes less money. Actually, you know what I found? Oh, I know. I forgot to show you something. I bought like 10 of these. I'm not going to take them all out. So you guys know, I know a lot of you guys are nuts about the Premier Protein. I found the Members Mark uh, Protein Shake. These are really good. Uh, 160 calories, 30 grams of protein, one sugar. So if you're craving, like I know sometimes and I'm craving chocolate milk or sometimes I have acid and I want something like chocolate milk or I want a smoothie and, you know, whatever. The protein shakes, they don't, they only have one one sugar um how much fat is in here three grams of fat so not bad so i got like 10 of these but then i went to this other store and they had look what they had they had the premier protein two for a dollar i know a lot of you guys uh, tell me that the reason that people are so nuts for it is because it's so expensive in other places two for a dollar and they had vanilla, they had strawberry. I believe it was strawberry. I got all the chocolate ones they had. Well, they had boxes. I could have gotten a whole box, I think. But I, the boxes weren't open. And I didn't need a whole box. So there was a lot of vanilla and strawberry there. There was only four chocolate out. So I the two for a dollar. So if I hadn't have bought 10 of the, it's the same thing, 160 calories, 30 grams of pro, protein, one gram of sugar. So if I hadn't have bought so much of the members mark one, I would have bought more of these two for a dollar. You can't beat that. Oh, what's the date on here? That's, that's the thing. What's the date? June, 2021. It'll be gone by then. Yeah, see, that's why it's two for a dollar, because it's going to expire soon. This is the same store that I told you gave me this weird cake. They were like, we're giving this cake away for free, or like these cake bars. And I was like, that, for free? That's weird. And you know why? Because they expired that day. So that's why they were two for a dollar. Ha. The members marked one. When did they expire? October 2021. So anyway, in the discount store, 
I got, I have forgotten to get these in the Dollar Tree. So this is $1.29. You get 51 pieces of heavy duty cutlery. I keep one at home and one at work. I found, I need to dye my hair. Somebody told me, this person I know, told me that, well, it depends on how my hair is. That I, I was starting to get a gray streak here. That I look like Lily Munster. Ugh. And they thought it was a compliment. So I obviously have to dye my hair. I usually try to dye it a purple color, some kind of violet, but it never works out. Anyway, so I got this Revlon $3.99. This is uh, number 30 in dark brown, which is, my hair is like a medium brown, normally, naturally. So then I'll save the best thing for last. Then I picked up these $2.99. Last time I got this soap called Fa, it was like shower yogurt. This time I got the Adidas. This is, <laughs> it smells like a foot. Um, Adidas, this one says new. This one doesn't. I don't, couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I'm gonna try the Adidas. This one says for women, this one doesn't. But they both clearly have a woman on them and they're $2.99. I've never seen Adidas brand stuff before. They had a third one that was like a jelly one, but it smelled really bad. So this one, the new one, says uh, protect extra hydrating shower milk. It says cotton milk for dry skin. Cotton milk. It has like this fresh scent to it. I can't really describe it. Does it smell like cotton milk? I don't know. Maybe. And then this one, this one is smooth. This is the also shower milk. So what's the difference between shower yogurt and shower milk? It says hydrating shower milk with micro pearls, exfoliating, micro pearls. So this is protect and this says smooth. So This is like the longest video ever. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna post a video for a while. I don't know, they both smell kind of the same. That's why I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I figure I'd try them both and review them. Oh, and then of course I needed toilet paper. I think these were a dollar for 1100 sheets. And then here, okay, so. There was this guy, <laughs> there, this, there was this group of people shopping in the discount store. Oh my God. So the woman with the smoker's voice, the smoker's New York voice and her friend and the son, the son, the, the like the mama's boy kind of, I'm 30 and I live at home son. So she's like, ah, I can't take this store. And it's like, so it's no room to move. I can't this, this is no Dollar Tree, you know? <laughs> She was so terrible. So the guy, the son walks down the aisle. He must have been like 30. And he was like, Ma, look at this soap. It says sex on the beach. What kind of soap is that? It's so crazy, right? <laughs> so I, after I heard him say that, I followed him down the soap. I was like, where's that? Where's that? I didn't say it to him, but I'm thinking to myself, oh, I got to find that. Where's that soap? And I'm looking and looking and looking. So I found it. They had ones. That, they had different ones. They had one that was like white diamonds, baby powder, Egyptian cotton. I don't know. But this one. So this was two ninety nine. I don't use bar soap, but this says original. This is the feel. Different feel. I don't know. Because the price tag is covering it on the. On the English side, the price tag is covering the name of the company. So it says uh, original African black soap, um, sex on the beach. And then it says with shea butter and cocoa butter, 50% more extra large beauty bar. So I asked my boyfriend about it because this, <laughs> I, I don't know because I thought maybe he would know about it because he uses 
not for the obvious reasons, but because um, he uses bar soap. Before I started buying him all this stuff from Bath and Body Works, because I have to pawn my addiction off on him. Um, yeah, so like there'll be a big sale and I'd be like, oh, well, I don't have to feel bad because I'm going to gift a lot of this stuff to my boyfriend because I'm buying men's stuff. So, but before I started gifting him like shower gel and all kinds of scents and stuff, he used bar soap. So I asked him about this and, um, I was like, isn't it romantic? <laughs> and he's like, you know, that's really moisturizing for your face. Um, so this is what it looks like. I don't know. Should I use it in the shower tonight? It says sunflower on it. Why does it say sunflower? I don't use bar soap. I think I'm going to use this tonight. I'm going to open it because I want to see if what it smells like. Well, you couldn't smell it through the plastic. You definitely have to open it. It smells like a regular bar of soap. So I wonder if they just slap different names on the soaps, like the white diamonds and the Egyptian cotton and the whatever ones were there. What makes this one sex, sex on the beach? It has that, it has a nice scent to it. It has like a, it definitely has that, like um, the cocoa butter. What is it that's in there? It's shea butter and cocoa butter. You definitely smell that. But I don't smell anything else. I don't smell anything extra sexy about this. I don't know. He says, he says that this is going to make my skin. He said, if I use it on my face, it'll make my skin soft. And you know what the other thing is? I was like, and then I wrote back to him and I was like, what, don't you think it's romantic? It, you know, just joking around. And he was like, oh, I didn't even read that part. Cause I, I sent him, I texted him the picture. He's like, I didn't read the, I didn't read the name. I just read African black soap. I didn't read the sex on the beach part. I, was, I sent him the, the emoji that's like this. That's my favorite emoji. So yeah we'll see how that is i'll have to review that for you and then if it turns out to be you know what i don't know should i have bought more um just to see if the other ones smell any different we'll see how this is um it says on the side it, i mean i have to say the packaging is is very intriguing it's very intriguing um it says here provides gentle skin cleansing made with pure shea butter and cocoa butter that leaves your skin silky smooth and irresistibly sweet so we shall see so i hope you like this really 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 long video um remember to comment rate subscribe follow me on instagram at shopping and Sense. i'm going back to my dvds here um Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. Oh, and Bad Enabler. Yes, here's here's a little preview of your, your birthday presents. Okay. Uh, see you in my next video. Bye, everyone out there in YouTube land.